You're watching Plant Identification Through Personal Investigation with Angeline Whitmire. This plant portrait is for wild yam, Dioscorea villosa. Wild yam can be a bit tricky to find when it first comes up in the spring. It has a slender vining stem with small, narrow leaves. The leaf arrangement along the stem is what is referred to as whorled. Here we can see the remains of the leaf attachments from last year's growth. This dried stem with the whorled stubs helped to identify the plant at this time of year. Notice the leaf venation on these young leaves. The veins are parallel and they each arise from the point where the leaf blade attaches to its stem or petiole. We can also see the wild yam leaves have very long petioles. Here's a close view of a wild yam leaf about a month later. Notice the parallel leaf veins arising from the base of the blade and extending toward the pointed tip. The leaf shape could be described as ovate or heart-shaped. The base of the leaf is usually strongly chordate, that is, heart-shaped. Another close view of the wild yam leaf. In the background are smaller leaves growing from the tip of the vine, which has doubled back on itself. The leaves have entire or smooth margins. This photo shows a section of the wild yam vine with lots of healthy leaves. As the vine grows, it tends to have fewer leaves in each whorl. Eventually, the leaves become single and alternate along the stem. This image shows us the growing tip of the vine. We can see the newer leaves are more yellow-green than the older, larger leaves. Notice again the leaf venation and the sharp tip of the leaf blade. And the newest leaves are now single rather than whorled in arrangement. In mid-spring, the wild yam begins developing its flowers. This close view of a portion of the vine shows developing staminate, or male, flowers. Pistillate, or female, flowers grow on a different plant. The flowers grow underneath the leaves, so they are not obvious until you turn the vine over. As we move in closer to examine the flowers, we can see they are growing along a thin, wiry stalk. Compare the stalk's thinness with the relatively thicker petiole of the leaves. Check out those tiny male flowers. As small as they are, still they have a beautiful six-tepal form. The term tepal is used when it is difficult to distinguish between petals and sepals. For some nice photos of the female flowers, visit the Robert W. Freckman Herbarium website at this URL. Flower stalks grow from the leaf axils. Here, the leaves are growing in a whorl. This very close view of a leaf node shows us a number of things. Several long leaf petioles, which provide the connection between the vine's stem and the leaf blades, the whorled connections at the leaf node, and the new flower stalk arising from the leaf axle. Let's look from above onto the whorled leaf arrangement. Here's a wild yam whose leaves seem sparse and far apart. This different plant shows a greater number of leaves growing closer together along the stem. You may have noticed that a full complement of whorled leaves usually consists of four, five, or six leaves. After the male flowers have bloomed and provided their pollen, they wither and become even more inconspicuous. Once again, let's turn the vine over to see the withered male flowers. The underside of the leaf blades are much lighter in color, with the veins showing prominently. Now, here's one of the fascinating observations about wild yam, its seed capsules. Notice both the size of the capsule and its shape with three wings. This seed capsule is still immature as it is still green. Once it is mature, it will be tan or brown in color. Here we can see a brown seed capsule which is smaller. It probably does not have any fertile seeds in it, 
and will soon drop off the vine. As the fall season arrives, wild yam's leaves turn from green to yellow and then to brown. The leaves curl up, dry out, and drop off the vine. Even the leaf attachment points and the vine stem turn yellow and then brown. Wild yam roots are used as a medicinal. The roots are referred to as rhizomes, which have lots of smaller roots spreading from the rhizome. Look in the left background of this image to see the dried stem from this season's growth rising upwards. If these rhizomes were replaced in the ground, they would be the origin of next spring's new vine. This is Angeline. Thank you for watching and learning about Dioscorea velosa, also known as wild yam. Visit identifythatplant.com for more images of wild yam, for plant identification resources, and for information about how you can confidently master the skill of correct plant identification.